No one can give me what I really want. I can't stand to see him like this. I'll push him off the roof. The great thing about Hulu is that it doesn't just offer a great selection of original and network series, it includes multiple seasons worth. You can also watch new episodes of current network shows. Here are the top 10 best new Hulu series to watch now, 2021. And by the way, make sure to click that subscribe button to stay up to date with all our engaging videos and use that trigger finger by smashing that like button. Now, let's get into it. Number one, Catch 22. Adapting a great work of literature, particularly one as stylish as Joseph Heller's Catch-22, is a daunting task. But George Clooney and company managed to do it, more or less successfully, in this six-part miniseries. Set during World War II, Catch-22 follows Captain Nusarian, Christopher Abbott, an American bombardier desperate to get out of the war. He wants to take advantage of the military's policy of discharging any soldier on the basis of insanity. Unfortunately, Yossarian's desire to get discharged for insanity is stifled by the military's Catch-22 clause. Anyone who is crazy can ask to be discharged, but anyone asking to be discharged is clearly thinking rashly. So, Yossarian keeps flying missions, and his superiors keep raising the number of missions required to end the war. And the war seems no closer to ending. Catch-22 is a darkly hilarious examination of the horrors of bureaucracy and war. Number 2. Home Economics it's rare these days to find a sitcom with an original concept, fantastic cast, and an entertaining storyline that rivals sitcoms of decades before. But Home Economics achieves this with the subtle humor, witty sarcasm, and silly antics that fans have come to expect from a quality sitcom. Already early in the first season, the series is being positively received thanks in large part to the believable chemistry among the cast, which includes three grown siblings and their respective families. The middle child is a struggling writer, husband and father, and the eldest daughter is an out-of-work therapist. Meanwhile, the goofy youngest brother is basking in wealth thanks to his private equity firm. But money isn't everything, and despite the rivalries that are only fueled by their socially hierarchically differences, the families try to come together to support one another through tough times. Interestingly, the story is inspired by the life of co-creator Michael Colton. Number 3. Killing Eve For MI5 agent Eva Palestri, Sandra O. Oh, the life of a spy is more mundane than the movies make it out to be. She's stuck working at a desk, and the most excitement she sees is last night karaoke. Rather than infiltrating high-tech facilities or something similar, Eve gets a shot at a more livelier case when someone murders a Russian politician, and Eve correctly deduces the assassin was a woman. Soon she's on the trail of the assassin, Villanelle, Jody Comer, a highly skilled killer with no conscience, who takes an interest in the woman hunting her. Blending drama, human, and international spy antics, Killing Eve is an exceptional psychological thriller built around a complicated cat and mouse relationship. Number 4. Atlanta Donald Glover is a modern renaissance man. Since launching a comedy career via skits circulated on YouTube, he has branched into rapping, acting, and even show running with the remarkable surreal comedy drama Atlanta. The show follows a dodged college dropout named Ern Glover, who sleeps on his on-off-again girlfriend's place and struggles to provide for their child. When he learns that his cousin Alfred is starting to achieve success as a rapper, stage name Paper Boy, Ern becomes his manager. There is not much of an overarching plot to Atlanta. Most episodes play out like short films, and the show experiments with a variety of stories and formats. One standout episode is presented entirely as an episode of a local interview show, complete with fake commercials, daring and frequently poignant. Atlanta is one of the most exciting shows on TV today. Number 5. Little Fires Everywhere Hollywood A-listers Reese Witherspoon and Kerry Washington burn their talented acting candles bright in this gritty miniseries as both show off their talents for pulling off seriously dramatic and highly emotional roles. Based on the 2017 Celeste Ng novel of the same name, the period series is set in the 90s and highlights the dramatic differences between these two women. While they share motherhood in common, they come from very different socioeconomic backgrounds, making them markedly different people with very different lives and life experiences. It beautifully examines the dichotomy between wealth and privilege and hardship and sacrifice. Reviews criticize the series for playing it safe sometimes, but there's no denying that it's electric when Witherspoon and Washington share screen time. Number 6. New Amsterdam How can I help? That's Dr. Max Goodwin's mantra as medical director of the fictional New Amsterdam Public Hospital, and words you hear him utter over and over again each episode. 
The story begins with Goodwin, believing his secret cancer diagnosis is a death sentence, decides to run the hospital the way it should be run, ignoring all the red tape and bureaucracy that might otherwise hold a medical facility back from providing sufficient medical care to all of its patients. Naturally, the powers that be are none too pleased with Goodwin's no-rules strategy and the risks it brings along with it, even if deep down they agree with his caring intent. As the series progresses and peripheral storylines develop, it's easy to find a favorite character and get invested in them. Number 7. Grey's Anatomy There's good reason this series has become the longest-running scripted primetime medical drama. Every season brings a fresh, new take on the personal and professional lives of a team of doctors, nurses, and other medical professionals working at Seattle Grace Hospital. While there has been a revolving door of cast members, including some major character deaths, the title character, Dr. Meredith Grey, remains at the heart of the show, with intense crossover episodes, special episodes that present like mini-movies, and heart-wrenching storylines. The series that brought to life Doctors Dreamy and Steamy continues to capture the attention of its core audience and attract new viewers. Number 8. The Handmaid's Tale In a not-too-distant future, after an environmental disaster causes widespread infertility, an extremist cult in the United States stages a coup, establishing the totalitarian state of Galad. In the new society, women are relegated to subservient roles, and due to the low birth rate, a class of women called handmaids is conscripted to bear children for the leaders of Galad. The protagonist of the handman's tale, Alfred Elizabeth Moss, is one such woman, forced to have ritualized sex with Commander Fred Waterford, Joseph Yens, to provide him and his wife a child. Living without any rights or power, Offred tries to survive each day, hoping one day be free. The Handmaid's Tale is a masterful adaption of Margaret Atwood's grim novel of the same name, with excellent performances and gorgeous, oft-disturbing scene composition. Number 9. American Dad We'd argue American Dad is the finest of the adult animated sitcoms produced by Family Guy Seth MacFarlane. Less obnoxious and dependent on shock value than its sister show, American Dad starts as a comedy with a light political layer, but over time warps into more of a sci-fi oddball series more in the vein of Adult Swim shows. Focused on the Smith family, including patriarch and CIA agent Stan Smith, the show is eventually more driven by Roger, American Dad's disguise of Seth's talking alien. With 15 seasons of watch on Hulu, this makes a great, satisfying and laugh-filled streaming binge. Number 10. Futurama Created by The Simpsons' Matt Groening, you might have written Futurama off as filler content for Fox Sunday night programming block. If that sounds like you, you would inadvertently did a major disservice to creativity, humor, and passion Groening and company poured into every panel year after year for over a decade. Futurama is imaginative, witty, and has the uncanny ability to poke fun at cultural icons without sinking to juvenile mudslinging. Each time the series got the axe, it broke our heart a little more, which didn't get the mending it needed until the final episode of the final season. You wonder why The Simpsons of Futurama aren't both on Disney+. Plus. Futurama is something of a darker sitcom, which might explain why. The show begins with the introduction of suicide booths, for example, and in one episode, Fry's hands get eaten by a T-Rex. At its peak, though, Futurama is easily the match of its more successful cousin, even if the later Comedy Central seasons are noticeably weaker. What can you say about these top 10 best new Hulu series to watch now, 2021? Let us know in the comments section below. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so we continue giving you the best contents. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.